Napagisipan mo na ba? Dahil kakalimutan na kita Ito na This is Jacobo Salcedo. This is also the name that a girl, Gina, and her older brother, Lito, who was his friend in grade school that knew him. Gina belonged to a very rich family. In fact, the richest in their town. Despite their difference, in social class, since Lito is rich and Jacobo is poor, they played often. Oftentimes, they would go to their house and Jacobo would help them in their homework. During those times, Jacobo had strong feelings for Gina, but he never really knew how to express it. One day, Gina invited Jacobo to play in their bodega since Lito was out of town. She read a book called Watering Heights and she told him about this book. When Akobo went home during that day, he discovered his father had died. He found out that, that his father died in an accident in the cockpit. His opponent's rooster slashed his thigh and he bled to death. Two days after his father died, the war started. Jacobo and Gina were forced to separate from each other. Gina's family fled to their farm. Jacobo's mother died during war, and Jacobo was forced to live with his uncle, who was a janitor at the Ateneo. Jacobo finished his schooling as a working student with the help of his uncle. He graduated law school and became a lawyer. After graduating, he found out that Gina's family lost their wealth, and Gina is now in Manila. Jake got in the firm of his college friend, Carlos Cabello. He was paid well, and he enjoyed the company of one of the richest men in the Philippines. in the city lights under your eyes in the city lights So one evening, they went to the bayside and Jacobo was urged to the hostess booth to choose a companion for tonight Under your eyes in the city lights Under your eyes in the city lights Jacobo couldn't believe his eyes She was sitting there the woman he was looking for. It seems that Gina did not recognize Jacobo. Girl, you're all I wanna do. Play it. 
A cowboy introduced her himself as Jake, but Gina gave him a different name. And this is understandable because of their current line of work. Jake and Gina talked during the night, and Jake kept on insisting that she goes out on a date with him. She politely declined. Jake kept on insisting to the point that he asked Gina's manager to book Gina for him on the next night. Jake also booked her for him for the next week. During this time, Jake got hints that the girl was actually Gina. After many days of Jake inviting Gina out on a date and her declining, Gina finally said yes to Jake's invitation to go out with him. Jake got a message from Carlos that they were going on a business trip ASAP. This means Jake can't go out with Gina. Jake called his secretary to inform her that she should look for Gina in the lobby and tell her that he would meet with her soon. Hello, go to the hotel and look for a beautiful mestiza. Take her to lunch and I will be good for it. Tell her, I'm going to talk to her when I get back from Frank. Jake got a call from his secretary to inform him that she did not see Gina in the lobby and that she did not go. Hello. I'm sorry sir, but we didn't see a beautiful mess. I guess she didn't come. Okay, thank you. Why am I chasing her? I'm a bachelor and other girls are chasing me. I should go on. Jake met Jenny. He fell in love with her because of her likeness of Gina. But nevertheless, he learned to love her. They got married and they lived a happy life. But one day, Jenny saw something in the news that made Jake's world stop. He did not believe that Jenny could do such a thing. Using his connections, he made a way to see Gina. Gina? Hi, what can I do for you? Do you remember me? Yes, you were the man who wanted to help me three years ago. Yes, I'm here to help you again. Thank you, but I don't need it. Why didn't you go? to the hotel. Secretary said she didn't find you. I was there with my brother. I, we waited for you, but you didn't come. I guess your secretary didn't see us. After my business trip, I went home to find you. I went to your house, but they told me you had left. My brother found a new job I was ashamed of my old job. The new job didn't pay well, but it was there when I met my husband. You reminded me so much of someone when I was young. Someone I loved. He was just a boy. Why did you do it? Why did you do it to your husband? He was unfaithful. I had promised him my loyalty, and he betrayed me. I have a story to tell you. That boy, he was very poor. Jacobo, 